That was a psycho ride over. It was pretty nuts to be honest. It wasn't really nice. It wasn't very comfortable, but we've actually made it over to a little remote island. Jersey, my love. Can't miss the oyster catcher. But yeah, we finally got here. It was a windy hard slog. It was really tough. But the boys are just setting up. Ben's gonna get in the water straight away. Lon's gonna make a cruisy. And then we're gonna get into the water. We've got a really strong wind that's coming straight onto us. On the way back, it's gonna be horrid. But we're gonna get in the water and we're gonna have a paddle around. It's a really small tide, so it's pretty safe. But because we've got a bit of wind with tide, it's gonna push out a little bit quicker. So it might be a little bit of fun on the gun. So uh, hopefully we can get into some fish. Wetsuit's on already. It's a beautiful day though. It's really nice and warm. Where are you going? Sam. So yeah, I'm gonna get shit ready and we're gonna go in. Let's do it, you. Yeah, so I'm a pretty novice when it comes to spear fishing. Ben's actually just gone in here and what I've said I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep an eye on him and he's gonna go around these rocks here, come around the back of this one and come back. Now, where we just came across over there, we came from La Hoc, which is that way. Um, there's a little bit of tide still running through and I'm not the most confident spear fisherman. There's not much of a tide. It's actually a really small tide today. It's about 8.5 meters, but you still get that pull where the tide goes out towards the west. So there's gonna be a little bit in there. I'm not too confident. So I don't really wanna be in there struggling and mentally thinking about stuff where I know that if I wait another half an hour, tide's gonna drop off enough, I'm gonna start seeing a few reefs that I like to see over there, and then all these jap beds in this area, all the way around, are gonna start showing. Ben's confident, Ben's been doing it for a long time, so uh, I'm just gonna let him just go for a mooch around there and see anything. All of this is actually gonna unfill. But we've got about two and a half hours out here, so an hour and a half in the water is good enough for me. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy myself, relax, and then we'll get out there. Seen a few of them, yeah? Uh -huh. Seen a few? Two or three, yeah. Yeah? Was he just like right next to you and you shot him? He turned around and he was there, mate. It's not massive, like, but... Nice, Benny boy. Oh, You're now seal chum. Uh-huh. Seal chum. Beastie, mate.
out. I'm gonna get back in the water because I've got a fish, but uh, first fish I've ever speared. That was amazing. I was in like a foot of water and it was just sitting there in the weed, and I turned it, didn't move. And Keep going round and then hopefully we can get into something else. Boom! Now for anyone that knows me, fishing has always been my main hobby. Getting into the spearfishing game isn't the end of fishing for me but it's given me an insight into bass behavior. Even though I've only been doing it for a couple of months, I've soon realized how bass behave in and amongst the kelp, in the jackweed, on the sandbars. Every time I see them, their nose down. And it really now makes me think about how I'm sometimes approaching different places. When I went away traveling, it made me really think and understand about the pressure us humans put on fish stocks. So spearfishing for me, isn't about going out and shooting everything I see. Living on a little island like Jersey, there's so much opportunity to eat fish and catch fish. But sometimes it can be a little bit harder to get the fish that you want or the size for the table. And this is where spearfishing has really come into the groove for me. As I was saying before, spearfishing isn't about killing everything I see. So I'm gonna carry on fishing but I'm gonna try and use that understanding of fish behavior to make my fishing better. From the first time that I got in the water, it was just like a liquid cinema. There were fish everywhere, bait balls, the lot, and the fish were really tight in and close. Some inquisitive, some would actually come up to you. And the bass I shot in this video, I actually seen nose down, just sitting in the tide, just waiting for something to come over the ledge and through the shallows. In the video, what you don't see is me put a knife straight into its head, preserve the meat, cut its gills so it bleeds, and then put it into my bag. So I'm gonna make a load more spear fishing videos. Hopefully I can get better. Hopefully I can show you more, all the fish life that's actually below the surface here in our waters. And I just wanna have fun and I hope you enjoy it. It really is a new experience for me and it's something that I've never done before. And it's now something that I really wanna get involved in.